I wasn't sure what to make of the title, Right Back At You, Being Human in a Simulated Universe. Um, when I first saw it by Steve O'Grady, I thought perhaps it had something more to do with artificial intelligence or the world in the fourth industrial uh, age, AI, machine learning, that kind of thing, but it goes much deeper than that. It returns back to art, music, books. We've been searching for the meaning of creation, I guess, uh, for as long as we can remember, and we've been trying to emulate it or simulate it in such movies as Interstellar, uh, about black holes and how to communicate, uh, The Matrix, which was kind of set the stage for everyone else, and we've, um, Lucy is another one, uh, along with all of those that even Inception. I watched that movie five times trying to figure out what the end meant using the top. Did he return to his own time? Was it all a dream? Will we wake up one day and realize life was a dream? Who knows? But Steve O'Grady has taken a very difficult subject and tried, <laughs> made good strides in trying to help create param parameters from which to realize this level of consciousness that we're always searching for in simulation. And even I realized today, you know, I put on makeup today pretty much just to do this in interview and, or interview, uh, review, and realized I was simulating a universe of my own. I, um, I loved his use of our reflections in the mirror that we reflect and we project onto others um, and from others, who we are, what we are, what we're doing. It just, the book is, I recommend taking it in chunks. <laughs> it is a lot to get down. Uh, my only thing that I might be wary of, I think it tends to slow down the pace, is um, alliteration can be great to make a point, um, but it should be carefully construed and sometimes it can just get overdone. Um, but other than that, on the other hand, I definitely remember those sentences. But like he says in the beginning, um, truth is stranger than fiction and we've been spending years and artists of every caliber, scientists, have all begun to come together to try to make sense of what it means to be human in our universe. Um, simulation in today's world can be pigeonholed. <laughs> uh, we pigeonhole simulation as creation and creation as simulation, but ultimately I think what it boils down to is we're still trying to figure out our place in this world, what it means to be here and what we're doing here. Um, I applaud Mr. O'Grady for taking such a deep subject and trying to put it into something that is um, something that can be a cohesive something to look at and he's even broken it down into 12 sections. So. This is one book that I, again, I tried to read as one, in one sitting and it just, it's, it's deep. It's, it's, I didn't, I went through it too fast in the beginning, didn't understand it at first, had to go back. So take it slowly. I know that's odd to say in this world today, but take it one bite at a time, read a chapter, let it ruminate in your thoughts, um, think on it, uh, process it make your own decisions, and then take the next chapter, and so forth and so on. It, it, the closest that I can figure that it, it is along with, um, it reminded me a little bit of how maybe Dante broke his worlds down. Um, maybe that was part of it, you know? Road to Hell is paved with good intentions, but in the end, it's also a good reminder to slow down, 
to go ahead and look in the mirror, process what you see, process what you want others to see, and realize that we're all just trying to be human in a simulated and created universe. I honestly, I give this book four stars. Um, just the alliteration was a little bit too much for me. It was a little dense for what I'm used to reading, but if you've got a scientific analytical mind or um, see things uh, outside of the norm in, in these areas, then I think that this would be the book for you. Uh, I, like I said, it's, I thought it was very well done. It, it's, um, it's well written. It just takes time to get through and takes some deep thought when you read it. But I hope you enjoy and thanks so much for listening.